Welcome to the admin setup for sites. In this section we will discuss how to set up each individual site and if you are using Drake or Crosslink this will also create the integ integration with those tax softwares. So you would begin by selecting the admin tab then scrolling down to sites and this is going to display the sites page. And based on how many sites that you have purchased they will be displayed here. To edit those sites, you would click on the Edit Pencil. If you're new or haven't changed your site names, they probably are, say Site 1, Site 2, Site 3, etc. Your site name, you're able to edit that to whatever you would like that to be. And the abbreviation to go with that site name that's going to show up in various places around the software. Your EFIN is important if you use Drake or Crosslink. If you do not use Drake or Crosslink, you don't have to put your EFIN in there. Your EFIN password, again, this is for Drake and Crosslink users. Drake has an EFIN password and Crosslink has a transmitter ID. And those are important in order for us to be able to get that contact information and EF data from your softwares and to put it into your Atom software. The hour difference from Eastern Standard Time, the Atom servers are located on Eastern, in Eastern Standard Time, so if you are in a different time zone, you're gonna, it's very important that you make note of that here. For example, if you're in Chicago and you're on Central Time, you could put a minus one. If you're in Las Vegas and you three hours difference, you can put the minus three. And that's important because if, if that is not changed, then throughout the whole system, your clocks would be off, and that would include your punch clocks, your appointment scheduler, all of our time stamps. So you do want to make sure that you have the correct uh, hour difference from Eastern Standard Time entered here. The state refund link, for those of you who do have a state income tax and do have a link that's similar to the IRS's Where's My Refund, where you or your clients are able to go to get the status on their refund, that's important to go ahead and put here. And you, it's best to copy and paste it from the link so you make sure that you have that correct. And I'll show you where that shows in our system. So if I save this, and if you are in a client's file, and if you wanted to look under the EF database, you can expand that field. And you can see here it has the 1040 link for Where's My Refund, but it also has your state refund link. So if you click this, then it's going to go ahead and it's going to launch your state Where's My Refund page. So you would easily be able to access that information for your client. Also, we want our clients to be able to get that information themselves. So if the clients are logged into their portal and they want to check the status of their return, they can choose that link. And again, your state refund link status will be linked into their portal. So they could click this and then they would be able to go check on the status of their refund. Okay, back to the sites page. The EF data system, that is going to be, again, if you are using uh, Drake or Crosslink, this is what actually allows us to import the EF data from those softwares. And it is a pre-filled field, so as you can see, you are not able to edit it. So um, if you happen to be using Drake or Crosslink and it's not listed here, give our office a call and we can get that corrected for you. But once it's set up and the EFIN password or transmitter ID is entered here, then we are able to get that EF data into your site. So if you are in your Atom, you can see on your home page, you will have either one of these links for Drake or Crosslink. And if you click on it, then Generally, you'll be able to, sorry, that was our test system, it's not in there, but you will be able to import that EF data. The next column is for company name override. 
an address and phone number. So if you do have more than one site and you want to have different addresses or phone numbers or even company names listed on your invoices and your receipts that you're giving your clients, this is going to override what you have on your company page. So if you remember on your company page here, this is where you put your name, your address, and your phone numbers. But under the sites, you are able to edit that. So if you do have additional sites, you can choose those right here. So if you are in a client's file, let me find a client for you. So you are able to see, so this client is a client of South Cedar. If we pull up the transaction history or receipt for your client, you can see how it does have the South Cedar address and the South Cedar name. If this client was a client of the West Saginaw office and we changed it to West Saginaw, we can pull up that transaction information and it has now changed the address to the West Saginaw address. So on that sites page is where you are able to override what you already have on the company page. And that should be it for the sites page. Thank you.